What's up? It's your boy, Random Pastor Jeff, a.k.a. Mr. Elbert, a.k.a. the bald man with the beard, whatever you want to call me. I'm sure the kids got worse names for me, and I'm not tripping. Hey, uh, shout out to y'all. I'm really just trying to uh, make some content while I'm stuck behind the screens after doing some of the school work and teacher work and different stuff like that, church work, whatever. I really just wanted to try and uh, motivate our teachers, first of all, keep doing what you're doing. Students, keep working hard. I know this is not an ideal situation during the coronavirus uh, pandemic of 2020, uh, I, I, but I am praying for you. I do love y'all. do miss y'all. Shout out to Lawton High School. Shout out to Lawton Public Schools. Um, shout out to our churches, everybody. Hey, make sure that you like this uh, and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to this uh, channel. Uh, make sure you ring that bell and watch this whole thing. Hey, I just wanted to make another tutorial video concerning Microsoft Outlook. So what I'm, what I'm running into is a problem with our specific district. Our students are having trouble finding their uh, teacher emails. Part of that problem is they don't know how to use Outlook uh, specifically, and they didn't realize, see, in, in our district, we have Google Suite, like so many of your companies have G Suite, and a lot of your companies have Microsoft Outlook uh, or Microsoft Office altogether, um, you know, the whole Office Suite. Either way, some, some organizations, like our school district, um, uses G Suite for certain things and Microsoft Office for other things. Um, so our particular district, um, uses G Suite but doesn't use Gmail. We use Microsoft Office, but especially Microsoft Outlook within the Outlook Suite. I mean, within the Office Suite. So um, a lot of kids are having a disconnect that their same login information, at least for our district, um, since it's the same domain name, LawtonPS.org, being used for our G Suite and the same domain name being used for our Microsoft Outlook stuff, or Microsoft Office period, excuse me, I keep saying that is this the same login information because it's the same domain so uh, if you don't if you do know make sure you convey that to your colleagues and your students or whatever kind of realm of business and industry you're in if you're using outlook i'm going to show you how you can easily locate an email address for somebody that is within your domain now if they're not in if they don't have the same domain name like if it doesn't end in lawtonps.org and yours does it's not going to be in the same directory obviously so as long as you're in the same domain your directory will be listed so let me show you how you're going to do that first of all you can see uh, my youtube page once again make sure you go make sure you subscribe make sure you ring that bell and make sure that you watch the whole video okay um so let's go over here first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to outlook.office.com now this is the web-based version of the software you can also download the outlook app the microsoft outlook app on your mobile devices i like using the web-based you can even download outlook onto your pc or mac either way it's easier for me just to go to the web-based version of this so just kind of it kind of just depends on what type of version you want to use if you want to use the app for your computer if you want to use the app for your mobile device or if you just want to go to the web-based uh, outlook.office.com either way when you go there you can just log in um, with your basic information and it'll pull up um, the, the login spot and when you do that you just enter in your uh, school information or your organization information the same logins for us that we use for G Suite and Google Classroom is going to be the same login for Outlook um, I had to go in and sign in and kind of set it up a little differently so that I wouldn't um, reveal other people's email addresses and hopefully I won't be I won't do that so you can see my inbox is not really showing right now that's just to protect uh, people and different things like that so this is these are the easy ways you can find email addresses for people uh, whether it be a teacher or a student or just somebody that is in your domain you can just go to new message one way to do it is go to two right when you click two, you can click on all users and then I'm gonna type in my name and you can find the users there and all you got to do and this is my niece so I'm sure her daddy is, is okay with me putting that on there but I'm just gonna hit add as a recipient hit a plus sign and I'm in there and then all I got to do is hit the X and there I am in the two uh, uh, section of the email and you can just write your email how, however you want maybe that's not working another way that you can do it is you could just simply start typing the last name of that user in your domain I've got two emails but that's only because my uh, my web browser has all this saved yours probably won't show up with this right here pastor Jeff at the great 5 um, but if they're in if they have the same at um, uh, domain um, they're gonna be in your directory you can just click on them that way another way to do it is you can just type in maybe they don't show up right here let's say that the name you're looking for does not show up right here 
All you gotta do is hit search directory and anybody that has that name will now pop up and you can select them that way. So you can either hit the two button and search through the, the contact list or you can just type in their name and find them. Um, just make sure that you're sending it to the right uh, Elbert. Obviously, if you're looking for Elbert or Smith, there's so many Smiths and Jacksons and stuff like that. So make sure that you know their first name or have an idea what that is. See, what's happening is students were contacting me to get a hold of other teachers and students. And all I was doing was this right here. So instead of having to keep doing that, I'm hopefully uh, giving you some information that if you already knew it, then just disregard this video. It's all good. But know this, some of the people uh, in our building and some of the people in our organization and even especially the students at this point didn't even realize that their login for the G Suite is the same for their Microsoft Office. By the way, it doesn't just come with Outlook. It comes with your PowerPoints and your Excel spreadsheets and your Microsoft Words, and they have access to that. So... Um, a lot of them like using the Google Docs. It's a little bit more convenient, especially when you're using Google Classroom, but they have access using their student login information. Uh, they have a student email on uh, outlook.office.com. I hope this helped you. I hope that this enlightened you. I hope that you can use this. Uh, miss y'all, love y'all, peace.